Chronic tonsillitis is a persistent inflammation of the palatine tonsils. It develops as a result of recurrent episodes of acute tonsillitis or due to an impaired protective function of the tonsils without preceding acute inflammation. The tonsils undergo fibrotic changes and parenchymal sclerosis. Lymphoid tissue is replaced with connective tissue and caseous plugs form within the tonsillar crypts. The procedure is performed under general anesthesia. Following premedication and induction, image-guided nasotracheal intubation is carried out. The endotracheal tube is inserted through the nasal passage into the trachea. This method provides unobstructed access to the oropharynx and optimal visualization. The tube is then secured and connected to a mechanical ventilation system. After access to the oropharynx is achieved and the mouth is opened using a mouth gag, the tonsil is dissected along its capsule. Bipolar coagulating scissors are employed, allowing for simultaneous tissue dissection and vessel coagulation, thereby reducing blood loss and improving visibility. The tonsil is separated from its capsule and surrounding tissues. The tonsillar bed is carefully inspected, vessels are coagulated, and, if necessary, treated with a hemostatic agent. The resulting tonsillar fossa heals by secondary intention. Within the first 24 hours, a fibrinous pellicle forms. Then the wound starts to epithelialize and rejects the pellicle, while inflammation subsides. In 10 to 14 days, the epithelialization is complete. 